Hello techies I welcome you all to my channel Food Techno Buddy which provides super simple study material for all the budding food technologists out there So this is an introductory video in which we will be discussing very common yet misunderstood terms in the field of food technology these are food food engineering technology food science and food technology So let's quickly see that how we can define food It is any commodity that can be ingested, digested, and eliminated from the body. As you can see, the process of ingestion, digestion, and elimination in the above mentioned pictures. It is made up of five essential nutrients for proper body functioning. These nutrient classes can be categorized as macronutrients and micronutrients, as the name suggests. One is needed in relatively larger amount than the other. Now. macronutrients provide structural material for example amino acids from which proteins are built and lipid from which cell membrane and some signaling molecules are built whereas these micronutrients they do not provide energy but they are required for other reasons which are important for proper growth and maintenance of body so let's take a quick look at what these macro and micronutrients looks like so carbohydrate protein and fat make up the macronutrients whereas vitamin and mineral makes up the micronutrients what comes to the mind first when you think of this word technology this might sound like something from sci-fi world the word itself looks very complex but it is actually not you all must have heard about roti maker peeler chopper corn bead separator or might be using in your daily lives as well this is the simplest form of technology that we use in our daily lives so we can define technology as the use of scientific knowledge for practical purpose or application whether in industry or everyday lives so techies have you ever wondered why the onion changes color when it cooks or how these potatoes from the farm gets converted to a convenience food that we all love to have who are the people behind this are these food technologists or food scientists What is the difference between these two terms food science and food technology So before moving ahead let's understand these two terms quickly When we study physical chemical and biological property of food then it is called food science Let's understand food physics with the help of an example of oil in water emulsion These kind of emulsions normally split but in some cases it doesn't for example mayonnaise thanks to the physical phenomena let's understand food microbiology the fact that you're able to store a jar of pickles at room temperature for years and years has a lot to do with food microbiology similarly change in color of onion while cooking is an example of food chemistry have you ever wondered how these potatoes from the farm get converted to easy convenience food that we all love to have yes I'm talking about the potato chips packets that you get from shelves of supermarkets. Before getting into the detailings, let's first understand the term food technology. Application of the knowledge of food science in preservation, processing, packaging and transportation of food is termed as food technology. Next topic that we will be discussing is food engineering but before moving ahead take a look at this coffee making machine this is an excellent example of how technology can be applied to food here highly pressurized water reaches the boiler where it is heated to its boiling point and moved towards brew head to extract its maximum flavors for the perfect cup of coffee Now you all must be thinking that heating milk is a very common process that almost everyone is familiar with but how these milk tons of milk is heated in food processing industries or dairy industries on a daily basis from where they get these machines who is responsible for making these machines so don't worry all your questions will be answered in the next part of the video 
फूड इंजीनियरिंग कंबाइंस माइक्रोबायोलॉजी केमिस्ट्री अप्लाइड साइंस फूड इंजीनियर्स डिजाइन एंड डेवलप सिस्टम फॉर प्रोडक्शन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन प्रोसेसिंग एंड स्टोरेज ऑफ वेरियस एग्रीकल्चरल मटीरियल एंड फूड दे ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड टेक्निकल नॉलेज विच इज एसेंशियल फॉर कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव प्रोडक्शन एंड कमर्शलाइजेशन ऑफ फूड सर्विसेज एंड प्रोडक्ट्स बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द डिटेल्स ऑफ फूड प्रिजर्वेशन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट कम्स टू आर माइंड इज Why there is a need to preserve food? For that, we need to understand what food spoilage means. So, any undesirable change in food which makes it unfit for human consumption is called food spoilage. Now, the reason for this change can be many, such as physical, chemical, or microbiological change in the food. Now comes the need to preserve food. Let's see how we can define food preservation. It is a process of maintaining a food in its original or existing state by treating it with several methods that will prevent its spoilage or deterioration. That's it for today, Techies. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more such interesting fun learning video in the field of food technology. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Stay home, stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.